Okay, so today we have something that I'm very happy about. Well, of course, you saw the chainsaw here, and this is a chainsaw sharpener. And this is a carbide a piece or sharpener or file, however you want to call it, in this burr right here. And let me just undo it real quick. I quickly used it just to make sure everything is up to par. And uh, I'll show you everything that comes in this bag. And I absolutely love this little tool. A really nice pouch, by the way, that you can put it on your belt like I do, or just hang it on whatever you have. Ah, that's up to you. And it comes with gloves. Yes, two really nice gloves and the uh, instructions manual on how to use it just in case you've never done this before. It's actually relatively easy. And when you first get it, of course, the bird doesn't come mounted. It comes in this little plastic box and it's very easy to unmount and do all this stuff. You just put this uh, little Allen key that comes with it to unscrew this a little bit, just like that. It has some edges right here and you just plug it in here with one of those flat surfaces towards the screw here and just uh, tighten it down boom and now the handle is ready and this is really nice carbide burr i really like this it, it's really cool and uh, it's easy to use it because you can do both sides of the chain without having to switch this uh side to side you just mount it in one side and you're good to go. And this, by the way, is made of pure full metal. This is not plastic or cheap or any of that at all. You can push this forward. You can pull this backwards. Depends on the where the teeth are on your uh, chainsaw. And you have two tighteners that go on the bar itself. And you have a tensioner here on the middle to keep the chain from moving while you're uh, sharpening. Let me install it really quick. It's actually quite easy. We make sure we have these pulled out just like this and put this uh, tooth holder almost like a brake 90 degrees so it actually sits right there as you see it's sitting let me put something under the chainsaw here so it doesn't keep doing this up and down to break my table that's not gonna be a good day okay this piece of foam will be as good as anything else i've ever used so as i said now we have the two holes to put the burr from our side and of course as you know in uh, chainsaws you have a pair of teeth that go this way and the other pair that go this way that's why you have these two holes right here in this case for example i'm going to start with this one right here as you see this tooth and uh we'll just put it on top of it and put this behind as you see this stopper goes behind that tooth and if you're not very sure how to do it well, you can put the handle here and see if it goes exactly where you need it to. You can lift it, as you see right there, would be actually a good uh, stop for it. So you just hold it there and tighten these up. That's all. There is nothing else to do here. Just like this. Boom. And then you can tighten this one on the middle just to put some tension on the chain itself. And now you can pull it back as much as you want. So you can go slowly on it, as you see. Right now, I'm sure sharpening the tooth right there let me switch the camera real quick so you actually see it in action and here if i can right there let's hope the camera is catching let me put pull the handle really quick and when you put the handle in you should see something coming out around there let me see yeah it's touching my finger but it's hard to see let me pull this right here so yeah okay i think this is a better position let me take it out Yep, you should be able to see a little bit at least. Not sure how much you're actually seeing there. As you see, that's the burr, the sharpener. So it looks like I have to twist it just a little bit towards you. So the camera will focus on it. As you see, let me pull the burr out. Boom, just like that. And right now I'm actually sharpening that tooth. Really nice. And you don't need to put too much force on it. Just as much as it makes sense only. You know, use your brain. And when you feel that it's sharp enough, in a few seconds, you just pull it out. And you should be able to check the tooth if it's actually any sharper. And yeah, I can tell even by finger, that thing is really sharp at this point. That's how quick it actually uh, went, huh? And when you're done with that tooth, let me see if I can uh, zoom in really quick just 
so you see the difference on that tooth actually it's it's really cool now you should be able to see it a little bit better and it's this tooth right here but the stuff is shining let me just take this off really quick so you can actually see the full thing here oh yeah this uh, tooth right here looks shiny and really nice and i'm gonna keep going with the rest of them slowly is of course we have a few teeth as you see this one has not been sharpened yet you can probably tell the difference if i can focus the camera a bit better yeah so yeah that's uh the sharpened tooth so this burr really does the job good because it goes you see with the shape of it boom just like there and it grinds through to sharpen it absolutely a beautiful tool to have and in my opinion i don't know where have i been not having this tool well the thing is that i used to have an electronic one before and it just didn't do the job right because i didn't have that much control as i have with this tool here because this is purely manual and you can just take it with you without thinking that the batteries will go out or anything like that and yes you can change the position of these two uh tunnels here uh, according to your chainsaw if you need to i haven't needed in my case here yet but that is totally how up to how you want to operate it and yes another thing you can take this whole thing here and switch it to the other side if you wish so but i just don't see a reason why you would but that's up to you they give you that option you can just unscrew this whole thing this comes off spin it around and put the screw through here and you can have it on this side. If you are more like a left-handed person, you can do that. I'm a right-handed person, so in this side is better for me. So next time, for example, when you're sharpening, as you saw that I put this piston here behind the tooth that I was sharpening, that's the whole deal with this one. So when you place it, when you place it on the spot, let's say this is the tooth you're trying to sharpen this one let me switch well if i switch the camera you won't see it anyway but let's say it goes right nearby well you can push it a little bit more so then it holds this in place and you can sharpen as much as you want i really think this is a great tool now i may not be as good as somebody like wrangler star on this stuff probably he would know even more than me what this is about and what this does but hey with the knowledge i have I'm telling you what I know and what I know is that I love this tool and yes this was sent free of charge to me for the purposes of this review and I absolutely appreciate that and of course I'm gonna keep uh, using it because it's actually a quality tool and a very necessary tool yes it works with gas powered uh, chainsaws as well because of course the bar and chain is gonna be pretty much the same this is a battery tool Ryobi 40 volt but it works with the other ones as well this is an 18 inch but you can have i don't know a 13 inch 22 inch whatever if, as long as the end chainsaw is the same it's not some rotary saw and it works and don't forget the 18 inch is here not counting what's inside so yeah without talking much more than this i would absolutely say with full confidence that this is a great tool to have if you use a chainsaw for any period of time especially if you're just a simple homeowner or something that you need to do stuff around the house like i do oh you will love this one and i'm not just saying it to, to shill for the guys who sent it to me but this is really a good tool and uh with that said i hope you enjoyed this video link will be down and below it will be an affiliate link between me and amazon and uh please like and subscribe and share it with someone that uh, might want to take a look at this stuff it's actually really good and don't forget, it comes with a little baggie right here. So you have a whole slew of stuff to work with in one package that's actually not that expensive for what it does.